thank you all for coming. And if I could ask both of you, are both of you prepared to endorse the Israeli withdrawal plan? Yeah. So let, let's wait till the prime minister comes. But uh, if he were to decide to withdraw from the Gaza, it would be a positive uh, development. Uh, I, I have discussed this with the president, the withdrawal from Gaza. I think any withdrawal from the occupied territory is very highly appreciated. But would like the withdrawal to coincide with the roadmap, which is very important. Because withdrawing from Gaza alone without connecting it with the roadmap, we never know it will be Gaza alone. It will be very difficult. It will not be accepted by the public opinion in the area. So the withdrawal from Gaza, if it is apart from the roadmap, I think it will be very highly appreciated. Any Palestinian state. Terrorism must be opposed. There will never be a Palestinian state, in my judgment, if terrorists are willing to kill. And so the first step we've all got to do is to, is to uh, work on the uh, mutual security concerns of the region. And we can't let people blow up a process, but that's what's happened, as you might recall. And there's been, uh, there's been uh, suiciders and killers and, you know, and it's, uh, it's essential that we work together to stop that kind of terror. President Mubarak and I discussed the possible Israeli withdrawal from Gaza. Uh, we will transfer sovereignty. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the United Nations representative Brahimi is in Baghdad as we speak, working with uh, different parties to uh, help de devise the system to which we transfer sovereignty. And we look forward to that. Uh, secondly, uh, the situation in Iraq has improved. But you're right, it was a tough week uh, because of, uh, there was lawlessness and gangs that were trying to take the law in their own hands. Uh, these were people that uh, were trying to make a statement prior to the transfer of sovereignty that they would get to decide the fate of Iraq through violence. A, a civil society, a peaceful society can't grow uh, with people who are willing to kill in order to stop progress. And in Crawford and for the friendly atmosphere. We also believe that the future of the Middle East and the future of Iraq are closely linked. And I am grateful for President Mubarak's support for Iraq as it transitions to democracy and stability. People of the greater Middle East have a right to be safe, secure, prosperous, and free. And civil society in both our nations. This is certain to enhance mutual understanding between our two people.